Hey YouTube, I'm playing this again. I spent this, uh, the last hour playing the Kraken, which might be called the Cracker later. I'm not sure quite yet. The the Orange is having a great time. I'm thinking, I really enjoyed playing this the other day. So swapped over, gave it a go, got it plugged into the Wii Cube. And um, it's not as nice. It's not. But see, after like two minutes, ends up, or it's it's, it's still amazing. Um, so... Well, I keep forgetting to mention, but this is my ultimate super pack everyone should have. Rolling cube, or is it a micro cube? Um, you can get it with a power supply, I don't have one, just run it on AE batteries. Awesome, and a Yamaha ERG. Uh, I'm using a sophisticated radio system. These are £13 on Google. It's the cheapest one you can get, the one that doesn't fold, so it kind of sticks out. Or you could use a lead. But, it's got acoustic mode in it, which I totally forgot. I've never actually had a shot of it. I remember when I was doing the video of it the first time, I was like, I think it's got an acoustic amp in it because I've got a wee Line 6 amp that's got a, an it's like a, a copy of it. And it's got an acoustic amp for plugging an acoustic guitar into, which is what I assumed that was. It wasn't until I accidentally put it in and went, no, it's an acoustic simulator. It's like, put a hole. And okay, this is a very sensitive tremolo. You know, it trills, which you could sort, you could just hardtail it if you didn't like that. I kind of got used to it. There's a while I didn't like it. That um, RG there does this as well. It's So when you're playing acoustic, it does sound as like there's some sort of wobbly thing going on. When you hit it hard. Because it's just going wah, 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 wah. Just very ever so slightly. This is, uh, annoyingly, the modded one. Um, I'm not going to... The temptation with these things is to mod it. But all I've done is, apart from fixing or making a jack socket because it was broken, um, I've split the two pickups so you get uh, positions two and four, like on a Stratocaster. And that's the ones I'm using just now. And the problem is they sound pure amazing and this guitar really should have had them. Well, it might have added 20 quid onto the price of it just to put the... Well, the pickups are already splittable. It was just like... I don't know. Seems a very obvious thing. So there's a humbucker. It's not bad acoustic thing. Then there's the middle pickup. These are the positions that you get in the guitar. So there's your acoustic. But I mean, to me, that it kind of just sounds almost as good as just like a piezo loaded acoustic. Really, if if you're talking about just jamming with your pals when you're drunk and all that, yeah. <laughs> That's it, easy. You just have to play the guitar a little bit lighter, but if you treat the guitar like an acoustic, it tends to sound more acoustically. You know, kind of just will yourself into believing that it's an acoustic. It does have a sort of an 80s acoustic sound to it, but maybe it's just the amps from the 80s. But that, uh, so that's the middle pickup on its own, and this is the neck pickup. Overload that a wee bit. Uh, that, these uh, things are a bit shit, I'm not sure. But, uh, but the battery might be going, to be honest. I've never changed the batteries in it. You know, we could have a crackle, right? Um, but position four is immediately. Whoa, that's an acoustic! And same with position two. The problem is I've got the tendency to really batter acoustics when I'm playing them, so this super wobbly trem is given a brrrr. It's not a pleasant sound though. So a bigger acoustic. Yeah. 
hearing crackles. Not sure whether it's the radio thing. I mean, it's not obviously doesn't sound exactly like an acoustic, but I think it's warranted to be there um, just for you know, jamming down the park and all that. Or just jamming your pals and it's like, oh, do we do one acoustic song? You can just back that to the rhythm guitar. Once that's in a mix with someone playing lead, and all that, oh, you've never noticed. But the, other, the sound I've been mostly using is a jazz chorus one. Chorus, please. I'll put the chorus on. Batteries are going definitely that or something wrong with you. I keep hearing crackles, which I've never done before. I suppose just trying to get the other sound out of it. Um, but that's, again, this is, the, this is the party pack, so you've got. I'm, I just don't feel I'm really missing out on anything just by having this as a setup. If that was the case, your travel guitar, going right to. If you're teaching guitar or showing somebody going around someone's for a jam, having that acoustic thing on it's just like a total super mega bonus. I already absolutely loved that feature and I didn't even notice it until I was doing the first video for this and then I forgot about it. I'll go back on to it because I was really enjoying that acoustic thing. Helps having a good guitar as well. Um, I was trying to get a... Not quite nailed to getting the sound yet. I was was it the rectifier one? Was... Thank you. 
problem is, it, it's, it sounds good. It just, it sounds small. The other sounds don't, the acoustic sound and the jazz chorus sound don't sound like you're playing through a wee amp, whereas that kind of does sound like you're playing through a wee amp. Because you're playing through a wee amp, but I mean... It's certainly got enough scope in it. It's just got, it's got the, the tone control makes a huge difference. It's just got one tone control, and then you've got a gain and a volume, and then a few different sets. So like, this is the, the Mesa Boogie Rectifier. It's called a Rectifier. It's a Mesa Boogie, I think, isn't it? It's a bit for your metallic. It's actually quite a close approximation when you try and play that one, doesn't it? Okay, can I... So I was thinking in a classic stack, well it's rectifier stack, this is classic stack, I'm thinking is Marshall. <laughs> Very different sound, isn't it? <laughs> Wow, the game just sure changes there. Kind of a bit like hey, he's Marshall. I'm just, I'm just playing Judas Priest, thinking Marshall Stack, Judas Priest. why I'd never really thought of that before. Like, um, if you're wanting to try and work out how close to, you know, what to do with these different sounds, actually, like, with the rectifier ones, oh, Metallica, use them, don't they, probably? Try playing Metallica songs, like, oh, yeah, it does sound like that. And then that was a, to do the Judas Priest with the, what I think is the Marshall stack, that's me playing the Brit combo, which I'm thinking is the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> See, it kind of, there's, it doesn't obviously sound like a proper valve amp, but there's tonal bits in there that are very similar and obviously sampled from things like that, because you're going to go, oh, we're going to model the Box, box AC30, what's the best songs on that? We'll make them sound kind of like that. <laughs> Fender, who uses a Fender? Don't know. Quite, quite a different. A clean amp. Just a bit more. Give it a bit more volume. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So, get one of these for the summer. Pick it up. There. I don't know. And I, I've kind of, I said I kind of changed my mind. I don't think it looks that boring. It's kind of understated and sleek and quite sensible. Just like a. I mean, I don't know what. I mean, you kind of get used to looking at things. I had it hanging on my wall above my TV the last couple of days, and it's actually. I kind of. I probably like the shape. It's prettier than the RG. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like. It's just not super. It's just totally understated. Um. I think it looks cool as fuck. So why am I keeping it? I have no idea. Um, it's not. I don't think it's a long term keepy one, but I'm enjoying it. So why not? The fact that it's so cheap, but it's one you can take up the hills and stuff like that because it's eighty quid. <laughs> right. And again, I'm playing through. If you if you buy these things brand new, at I'm still under hundred quid for the lot. Um. That includes a strap and strings and the power to run everything. Set of batteries for the amp. It's amazing how wobbly this trem is. I mean, it's totally staying in tune as well. I was playing this earlier on and then I thought before I turned the video on, I better tune it and it wasn't out of tune. It's like, I haven't tuned it since yesterday. And it's quite warm today. So I don't know when this video will come out. Um, I'm probably aware I've probably done quite a few videos. I said just I'm annoyed I forgot about the acoustic sound. Which, I mean, is, uh, well, as, as an option on there, especially if you find it the way I did, when you don't know it's there, and then, like, later on, it's up here after you've already decided you think the app's great. I mean, I think to be... Uh, but this, this is me, there's the two different ways of comparing it. I'm saying that, like, for an amp for in the house, as in to replace the orange or something like that, for me, the jazz chorus sound... It's thoroughly acceptable as a clean sound. Don't need anything else. Um, it's brilliant. And the acoustic sounds a nice bonus as well. The electric ones do sound a little bit small. They don't sound as good as a, an orange 30 watt tube amp. Cost 10 times as much, however many times as much it does. But for it, that's what you take it. It's, it's, a, it's a decent sort of distortion amp for the house. I kind of, I'm kind of used to, I'm a bit of a connoisseur, kind of used to a better one for the, the distortion sounds, but it does it, it just sounds a bit small. That's it as an amp that you plug into the wall, not as a battery amp. As a battery amp, it's all fucking brilliant, especially the acoustic thing would just be fantastic out the park, that, and it's just so easy um, and sensible, and it doesn't have that many controls, but the ones it's got are ones you need. Do you know what I mean? It's like doesn't have a handle that's here but wait, this one this is my the base one which i absolutely love but see what the best mod okay i made a switch for it so you could operate the thing but i put this handle off a an old art box gen cut up so it's now got a handle and it, honestly the amp is 20 percent better just for having that handle rather than trying to pick it up like this one you can sort of pick up like that but you're meant to use this strap and it's you know what I mean <laughs> so that's the bad thing I'm going to put like a maybe a kitchen a kitchen hand kitchen cupboard door handle thing or something in the top just so it's easier to carry because that's that's an annoying thing and you always think these are going to come off and stuff aye but so all you've got on this is um, you've got your modelling thing acoustic the jazz chorus the Fender black panel the brick combo classic and one you can put a microphone into if you were going to be singing through it Gain in volume, a tone control, and then two effects banks. One with chorus, flanger, phaser, and tremolo on it. The other one with delay and reverb. The reverb one is just smashing. Just a wee touch of reverb, which I'm now liking. Um, and then it's got a tuner, but the tuner's... Uh, it's kind of amusing. You can show people. And I, there is a situation where nobody's got a 
a note, but um, that's the tuner. You can set it to that's that's it set to A. You can set it to A flat, and then if you want to tune down half a step, it just goes to show you the technology must be it's like so ahead of its time because it's like you're, you've had like you know we cheapy tuners that automatically sense what thing you're doing for quite a long time now like 10 years anyway like for 10 years you know these sort of things i mean they're only like a fiver so i mean i, I would totally imagine the newer cube although in saying that the base one's quite the bit i think the, the base one's not that old like the design of it it doesn't have a on that one you have to rotate through like the amp models when you put the tuner on like the first I'll just tell you exactly what it is the super flat one is E, so that gives you a tune of E, but you've got to manually change it to do the, the A string, which you, know, you just you just rotate around the the same knob that does the amp models. Um, but that's just got a note in it. But so you need, you need your own tuner to go with this set. Although you, if you can just tune to A, at least you've got something, and you just tune everything off that A. Better than just arguing over who's got an A. <laughs> but I just I think for parties and everything, it's pure perfect. So I just think that the sounds, what I'm saying was the, the, like the clean jazz chorus sound, when you're messing about with that, it's proper, proper excellent. Like, okay, you could have a proper jazz chorus or have a big amp. Could it be a wee bit better, but still, that's still fucking brilliant. Whereas with the distortion, it's a bit kind of, quite a bit better having that. But, if you're outside, outside you can't have that unless you've got like a generator to run it and all that crap. Oh god. <laughs>